Good morning. Welcome to Margaret v. Margaret. This is just, <laughs> this is just a little moisturizer because my face feels like it's frozen. It's so tight. This is just a quick recap because when I did the blow upside down your hair yesterday to show you that even fine thin hair can have a lot of body. This is from just getting up. I haven't done anything to it. Now, the whistle on the teapot is going off. I'll be right back. I did sleep with my little sleep bonnet on last night. I'll show you. It's very silly, but it helps. No, not like that. Like this. <laughs> but what this does is I toss and turn all night long. But when I'm tossing and turning, the silky cap is moving around, the hair's not. So the hair just gets matted down like this. Better than being a knotted mess. Some of you put comments up about how, you know, putting all that mousse in that you thought uh, that you didn't want to have to wash your hair every day. You don't have to, unless you're young and have oily hair, which most of us aren't. You don't have to wash it every day. If I brush through this just lightly, all right, you can see my hair is messy and tired looking, but it is not oily in any way, shape, or form. So I just have to decide what I'm going to do to make it look decent for today. Is blow, is combing it out enough? Well, 50% of you would say yes. And I would say I'd have a heart attack if I were walking around looking like this. So this is my starting point. What I would probably do is either throw in some, you know, heat it up, put in some uh, the Velcro rollers, hit it with the flat iron or the round brush. <clears throat> now I know round brushing is hard for some people. And I don't love doing it I, because I don't have patience. But it's the easiest. just high heat coming down towards the base. All right, so we're looking towards the base and turning it, holding it and letting it go. This will get me through the day very easily. But what am I going to tell you now? If I don't tease it, it's going to be flat in five minutes. I am going out for a short while, but I'm not going any place that I have to worry too, too much. A little extra teasing today because where I didn't do much more than a lick and a promise with the air dryer, it, it, it's going to need a little more help. The other thing is I'm going to be outside working in the yard. It's going to be a beautiful day. So... All I have to do is get good for yard work. I can bring this down right now, or I can put a little bit of spray. Doesn't matter which kind, for those of you who ask. Just right into the root. Let it dry for a minute. And this is not a lot. I don't know if you can... I'm not holding it and trying to put out a fire. Let it dry. The other thing somebody was asking, which I should have said, mousse. There's a lot of mousses that I like. I use this because I carry it in the salon so I can get it cheaper. Kenra. This is Kenra number 12. It is a lighter, a lighter weight mousse. Still gives me plenty of hold, but it's not gummy. This is texturizing mousse, heavy duty, also number 12, but it has this kind of nozzle instead. This is heavy duty. 
This will make you feel like there's something in your hair, but you'll get used to it. It's one of those things where you, when I first did it, it was like, oh, I don't think so. And by the third time I did it, it was like, oh, thank God. So either one of those is what I use. All right. Now we're going to bring this down, but I'm not combing through. I'm combing the ends. My, my little bald spot right there, right? Two things, bald spot, white, exfusion. See if we can help it. I probably should have a gray. It would cover it better, but I like my white hair right at the very front of my head. It's the only, part of, the only color I really like of my hair. And my regular hairspray, I've never found another one I'd like as much. And it's Company D, our own private label hairspray that we can no longer get because the pandemic put them out of business as it's doing with everybody else. So the hair is done for the day. That's going to be my recap on the hair. Might even go on recap. We'll see. Answers the questions. Somebody also asked if I'd ever thought about having a perm. I believe in perms. I think most people need a perm, even just a, a, a volume perm, a body perm, but a perm is a perm is a perm. We do volume perms with big rods and we bring all the hair up to the area you need the volume in and put them all there. It works phenomenally well. It's great, great, great for fine hair. Here's the thing with fine hair. Ready for your science lesson for the day? Fine hair has no medulla, which is the very inside of the hair. So normal hair has a core, a medulla. Because fine hair has no medulla, one of two things can happen. If you have no medulla, the outside of your hair, the hair shaft, is made up of all little scales that shut down or open. If you have no medulla, sometimes that hair just shuts down nice and tight and stays super, super shut. The other 50% of the time, there's no medulla and those scales never shut down. They kind of just flop around on the breeze a little bit. And then anything that goes in can come out. So with fine hair, a perm either takes forever or it's gone. My hair, it's gone. I get two to three weeks, maybe four weeks out of a perm, and my hair fries. Now, you've all heard of, seen perms that fry. Perms normally stay in the hair for 20 minutes. My hair is down to three to four minutes, and that's with me putting in Olaplex protectant in both the, the wave bottle and the neutralizer, and my, the ends of my hair still frazzle right up. So I am no longer a good candidate for a perm. I have even, for those of you who are hairstylists, wrapped my hair and left the ends out so they don't get permed at all. Doesn't matter. It just travels up enough to shrivel them. So. Perms for me are not a good idea. <clears throat> Every couple of years, I decide to, well, let me try it one more time. And every couple of years, I'm sorry for months because my hair is fried. Uh, last time I did that was in the pandemic. There is a video of me perming my own hair on um, Daniel and Company Hair Salon, which is linked on, on the main page of, of Margaret being Margaret. So if you ever want to spend an afternoon laughing at me in the salon during the pandemic. Have a good time. This is everything on here this time. I'll have forgotten something. Take care.